What's up everybody, it's your favorite city's favorite nerd and today we are looking at Make Toys Utopia. And he is a big boy. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to showcase all of it. I'm going to have to make some adjustments, but we will adapt and overcome. And perhaps even improvise. I got to tell you, right out of the box, the first thing I was overcome with was the color breakup. That is the first thing I was overcome with with Generations of Metroplex was the lack thereof. So with this one it was nice. That it was all broken up in, you know, between colors and reds and blacks and grays and lighter grays and even some yellows and blues. And it was really quite nice. And then when I got him out of the packaging, I had to remark on his heft. He's a hefty boy. And he feels solid. And those are great things. So I'm going to do the best I can to try to show him off to you. First, let's talk about accessories. So, they come with these guns. Um, not a lick of paint on them, which is not really awesome. Um, not really awesome at all. Translucent plastic here. This pops open. Um, it does come with this little avatar. I wonder if he fits in there. Probably just broke him. No, it's too tight though. I wouldn't advise doing it. That was probably really dumb. So, it does have that and then... It comes with these two bits, which are like magazines, like Energon magazines for this gun. And they slide in here. And I will say that this here, I'm being critical of this thing, but it's because it's $400, okay? This thing here, a little wiggle waggle, not the tightest hinge in the world. Um, actually, you can, you know, that's the shake of it. So this goes in there, if I can figure out uh, this, I guess. Yeah. And then that closes. It doesn't affect the sound because the sound is in this hinge, which isn't the tightest tolerance up there. Um, this ratchets back for a number of reasons, but this does this for no reason. Set them aside. It comes with these bits of translucent pieces here. I'm trying to figure out what this is about. We're going to continue looking for a spot as we go through this, but I'm just not totally sure. Um, empty magazine or cartridges I guess for the magazine and they all pop out of the magazine that I just showed you and you can replace them with this they also peg into numerous things on these sprues that you can then use for Metroplex when he's in city mode and we'll take a look at them um, later on but they of course they peg in yeah. And we'll, we'll take a look at these in uh, more detail when we get them transformed. And then he does come with this avatar, which is a pretty nice cast, translucent plastic, so be careful with some small little fiddly bits, but pretty nice design overall. All right, so we're going to... Oh, he comes with this radar dish too, which will sit on his shoulder. We'll talk about that when we get back to the figure. Also, in case you were curious, the before and after gun will not fit in the peg hole and it's too wide really to get him to hold it. So, you're kinda SOL there. Also, these fellas all utilize five millimeter ports, so they are generally useless on him as well. I haven't come across any options for them, but maybe there are. This thing's supposed to be full of Easter eggs, but I personally have not come across any options. The one option you do have with these guns um, that isn't absurd is you can Have them on there, and of course they can go forwards, and if you would want them to go backwards, they could. And then I believe they also can tab on there if you want them on the back. So, articulation-wise, head is on a... It's, I guess it's on a ball joint. Well, yeah, it's definitely on a ball joint, but you don't get much up or down. You see, I just flipped the visor up. Um, the visor does come down. You push it down like that. You bring it up. Um, you don't get much because of the sculpt of the head. The head itself has very limited paint. There's paint on the eyes. There's nothing on these bits or on the black. 
but there is this translucent red that sits in there. And these guns here hinge up. Shoulders are on a soft ratchet up and down. They also are on a hard ratchet at the swivel. You do have a bicep swivel, very tight and ratcheted, hard ratcheted. Double jointed knee, I mean elbow. The bottom one is on a soft ratchet, this top one is on a hard ratchet. The articulation here is, is hindered because of the shape of this in here. So in order to kind of get around it, you just need to straighten it out and then bring it around in order to get it all the way up. It will go, but it's just not the, the smoothest bit of business. <clears throat> Down here, wrist swivel, hinge, ball joint, ball joint at each base knuckle and then two hinges on each finger. Waist, ratcheted swivel. These tracks can get in the way. You can slide them down a bit and that should clear the area. Hips. It's, it, it feels like a hard ratchet, but it's definitely a soft ratchet. But it's, they're good notches. Very hard ratchet there. And knee. Soft ratchet. Good and sturdy, though. I guess I should talk about these bits here. I hope you can see them. You can have them down. Like there's a way to bring them around. There's a way to swivel them down and around like this to just have one up. I personally like to have both up. I'm kind of a sucker for symmetry. So I like them both up. And then you can slide these guns up here if you'd like as well. Now the feet. The feet are an improvement from Generations Metroplex, but they're not the ultimate answer. So, there is a hinge. And you get a little bit, but not a lot. It's hard, for, it's hard to show up, but that's perfectly flat, and you get about 15 degrees out. And then you get the full ratchet forward. So that's a big improvement. Just not so much on the rocker. Now, if you get it out, you can ratchet it to the side like that and get your full rocker. But in a resting stance, you're pretty limited. Maybe about 5 degrees, 10 degrees maybe. But it's not hateful, right? Like, that doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's still what it is, but it's not, you know, it's, it doesn't look as bad as just, say, a, you know. But you can, you can make things work, unlike the Generations Metroplex, where the feet really kill you. Uh, his antenna do swivel down, you know, if you wanted to get a more dynamic or back. You know, depending on what look you were looking for. And then the radar dish plugs in there. There are some things that, that kind of irritate me. One of which being these guns on the shoulders, which you can't really see because I got, you know, he's, look, I got the setup I got, so deal with it. They don't come off. So I would like to remove them. You know, it's $400, so I don't want to break it. But So that's a little... You know, that's a little disappointing, given what this thing is. Secondly, the feet still aren't perfect. Um, and there are these little bits of kibble here on the... You know, and I only notice it right there. I only notice it because this thing really cleans up nicely with the exception of that. You know, so it, it does kind of stick out. It's not a deal breaker. It's not hateful. But it's just just one of those things I'd like to point out. But otherwise, yeah, he's, he's pretty impressive. We're going to transform him. But we're going to transform them in steps, close up in steps, so that you can see what's going on. Because it's just too big. I hope that you don't hate the way we're going to do this. Um, and yes, it's kind of a cheat, but sorry. I'm, I'm doing what I can. Start with the hands. you got to curl them up as tight as you can. And as compactly as you can. Flip down these panels. Slide out the forearm. Use that same black panel. And 
and slide up. So same on the other side. Now, get them sitting. Get them to here. Give yourself a little bit of room. Bend the feet down. And these pop into place here. These white bits, they swing around from the bottom. They pop into place. Same on the other side. Feet down. Pop into place. Okay, this next step is some stuff that Make Toys does that, that I'm not really a huge fan of. But this gray piece in here, I don't know if you can see it, is sitting on, in within two sliding rail pieces down in there. And you need to sp spread them out. Fold these down and then they'll lock back in right there. But you do need to kind of spread the, <clears throat> the white pieces to get it done. Same on this side. Slide them down. Get them past. I just don't like it. I don't like that aspect of it. I'm sorry. But there you go. Make sure that after you do so, you secure the track with the white tabs on both sides. And then... Combine them together. This is where things can get a bit hairy. So these torso pieces slide back. And... This head piece ratchets up. It's the matter of See, this one goes no problem. This one is giving me a ton of grief. There we go. Oh, there. So when you get to the back, you have these tracks here, and this is actually pretty cool. These come up, and these come up, meet them together, and they form pistons for the back treads, and it keeps it locked in place. And bring the head all the way down. So now we finish cleaning up the shoulders. <clears throat> Push that down, and then these come all the way around, and tab in. One more time. Down, around, Okay, now that you've got all that done, slide these back. I usually just push them forward because uh, it makes it makes it easier to get to those back treads, um, which is what I do. But I don't, I don't even think you have to. I haven't really looked at the instructions yet because I'm a man. 
right? I, I guess I didn't verbalize that, but fold these down, fold the outer piece out. They're on double hinges. This is really awkward positioning wise. But I will do my best. And then the final step <clears throat> is to take these and these come down and act like thrusters. Now accessory wise, you can take his guns that we talked about, fold those back in. I wonder if they're gonna plug those on. So here we have it. And then at this point, it's really just a matter of dressing it up. You can put, you know, your little avatar. You can stand on the ship and and then you have all these the little bits that were on sprues and they all peg into the black track. Like so and you know, you can come up with whatever option you want. And there's plenty of different. So I'll I'll get it all pinned up and then we'll, we'll take another look at it. So I'm going to go handheld for a bit so excuse my spike lee -ism. but so you can have the little guy rolling through here and you know there's tons of different places to peg stuff in like in the grates there which all have this like diamond uh, plated this going on which is very a nice touch and then up here I don't know what this little bit is here um, but it does peg in there. I just popped it out, but it does peg in there. I don't. I don't know what it is. And I, I, mean, I probably have it wrong. Somebody can feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, I did notice this yellow paint here on the black. It's a little touch and go. I got some black overflow right there. So that's a little disappointing. You know, four hundred dollars. You, you kind of want perfection. But the blue looks really nice and. So once again, you got this that can move up and down here, and you know you can open that up, and these actually you can put to the side, I guess, you know, or you can have them come up, and then you can't spin them, which is unfortunate. They should have made that a possibility, um, and then you know you can have them like that if you wanted. You expose all the hollowness on the inside, so that's less than optimal, but you could probably get a good picture out of that, you know, with the camera down that way. Um, doesn't roll or anything, but yeah, pretty nice. You know what? First, let me show you how some some stuff sizes up on them. So, like, you know, there's a scamper. Here's a revolver's power, uh, whatever his name was. Okay, to get to city mode, you got to undo a little bit of what you've done. Double hinges. All right. The same on the other side. Also, it's worth noting that you're supposed to fold the head up like this. I didn't say that before, but it doesn't really do a whole lot, and it kind of messes stuff up. So if you just leave it like that, it's not really that big of a deal. I think it's fine. Okay, so I really wanted to show this part, especially again. And what I think I'm going to do is show you how to go from this back to robot form after I get this bit done because it's it's the most kind of not complicated but just it can eat you up so on this one this one stays put and this one slides forward and <clears throat> what it comes down to is this track here right there that this slides on here and then when it's up, you know, like when the whole piece pushes up, it slides onto this when it's forward. And when it's down, then it slides onto it when it comes back. And I'm going to show it again at the end when I, when I put them back into robot mode. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but I'll show that part of it. Now that you've got the clearance, to get these on the other side. Let's break this up. Swivel the waist. And then 
him, you gotta kind of sit him like that. And that should get us started. Now we're gonna come around here and show this back bit again. I know it gets repetitive, but it, it'll be worth it, trust me. So, slide this back. You see those rails. This comes up. You can drop that one down. This one stays back. This one. Let me go to the other side. There we go. Didn't wasn't out all the way. There it is. Now they're both down. Now you can slide this forward. If you get the arm out of the way, you can slide this forward. Bring the head back. Bring that one back. That one stays forward. And that's how it should be. I know it's dark. Okay, so now you've got something to do about here. Swivel this around so that the red part shows there. S slide these tracks, more sliding mechanisms, so that this will rotate. And you want to get this like that. Same on the other side. So we rotate here until you see the red bit. Slide these down. If you're lined up here, you'll have a better, better luck. <clears throat> there it is. Not my favorite bit of engineering, I can tell you that. Okay, for the arms, which I like to get in place kind of before I get the legs completely settled, just spin these back, pull that forward, rotate this around, and slide that up. And then this one, you want to rotate the bicep around. Slide it back, plug it in. Now let's get the legs finished. All right, for the legs, these knee pads collapsed. Mine have already done it just in the, in the process of transforming them, so yours may well as well, I guess. I'm gonna bring that out, bring that around. Here you just untab what you've tabbed before. This becomes a little ramp, and then you can Like that. It didn't break, it just, I was rough with it. 90 degrees. Collapse the knee pad. Bring that around. Untab, bring down. And then if you want, you can open that up. You don't have to, but you may. Then it's just a matter of finishing touches, so. Bring this down. Same thing as before. Set up your towers. All right, so there's a couple more bells and whistles. This thing opens up to reveal whatever that is. This thing pops out there. It's like a little hanger, I guess. And then this thing, oh, you open up these flaps here. There's a tab right here, it's a gray tab. 
pull that back, open it to about here. That's on a spring. <laughs> Release it, and there you have that. And that's like, I guess what I call the, the battle mood. And then if you wanted to go into like peacetime, you just uh, rotate these up. Rotate these up. Push these cannons down. And then you can take that and swivel that around if you wanted to do that. So your red guns can plug in here if you want. And there's four different options for that. Or they can also plug into the side in the same place that they are uh, up here. I guess if you swivel this gun around, you can plug them in there. Uh, your preference. And then there's this little thing down here where you can pull this open and pull extend this out and and I guess I guess that's why you want to have his head tucked up, but I don't know. That seems kind of goofy, but it's there. All right. And then for a size comparison, he does not fit in there as an FYI. Uh, maybe this fella will. Let's throw some other stuff in there. And one last one last shot before we get him back into bot mode and have some final thoughts. Just awful lot of third party for Metroplex. Alright, size comparison wise, there he is with before and after six gun. There he is with Scamper, one of the Iron Factory lads. The Omega Supreme with the upgrade. Giant. And just because, swerve. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Of course, size comparison wise, it wouldn't be right unless I included this fella. Now I'm working on customizing him and I'm not, I'm far from finished, so don't judge me, but. Generation still has a good bit of size on them. Uh, the one thing that Generations doesn't have that Make Toys has for them is this. Nothing. Final thoughts, is he worth it? And that's the real question at hand. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. I love him. I really do. I know there's been complaints with them with like the screws being open and some things about the face like the face has that make toys fans project eyeliner on it which is kind of a bummer but I think those people that have those complaints are really masking another problem man I really want that utopia I wonder if let's see how much money I have let's see it looks dumb and you can see screws and I'm sympathetic to that problem I am but uh he's pretty awesome whether or not he's worth it to you is kind of you have to kind of make that call on your own it's just too big of a price point I know these things and for for a case they go for about 300 a pop and 300 dollars kind of feels more appropriate for this like I don't have many toys that are 400 dollars but I'm not totally sure this is worth $400. $400 is a lot of money. You know, it's $100 short of Feral Rex, and I got way more, you know, playability out of Feral Rex. It doesn't mean this is a bad thing. It just means that it's $400. It, you know, the I'm not going to use the base mode ever. I'm not going to use the aircraft carrier mode ever. He's just going to sit like this, and he looks awesome. <sighs> I don't know. It's, it's a tough call, and it's one that you're going to have to make on your own. The only thing I can tell you is, is that... The posability is limited. It's not super limited. It's not as limited as Generations Metroplex, but it's still limited. And it's limited because of the lack of a full-ranged ankle rocker. And the kind of the tracks that he has on his hips, the pelvis piece that's the dark gray and red above his hips, those things can kind of start to get in the way. 
everything else is pretty much easy to manipulate except you know there's some problems with the head due to the, the sculpt of the helmet and so forth getting that in full range but and the other problem is all the 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 total you know 60 percent of his transformation relies on these sliding mechanisms and sliding mechanisms with make toys plastic it's just it's not super slick it's not like generations rc where it's a polished kind of super smooth plastic. Make Toys plastic is a lot higher quality, but it's not as smooth. It's almost a little coarse. So getting those pieces to slide sometimes is a bit of a pain in the neck, and then sometimes it feels like, you know, you might be doing some damage to it. I've had little white flecks of plastic end up on the on the on the base of my display here, and that's just something that's gonna be problematic for a piece that has so many sliding pieces involved. I also wish that there was a lot more interactiveness with it. You know, like they could have threw some five millimeter ports on this bad boy here and there, and you could have really armed them up. You could have used the iron factory stuff. You know, maybe there would have been a way to incorporate the before and after set. Like if this was an all encompassing kind of piece, you know, that would appeal to me. I know it has that one little fold out ramp that connects to uh, Omega Supreme with the Armageddon upgrade set, but is anybody going to do that? It's, it looks goofy, right? However, the paint is gorgeous. The different color of plastic variables is spot on picture perfect, giving you just enough detail to not bore your eyes to death like that Generations Metroplex kind of does. If it had some more on the guns, that would have been even better. But the stuff they do on the, on the calves and everything, there's translucent plastics with small details underneath, the diamond plating on the ramps, the... There's just a lot of attention to small aesthetic details that really will make this thing pop on your shelf. Shelf space is going to be difficult to find for this fella, but once you get him there, you're going to be happy. I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, the only problem is this guy's price in comparison to what you actually get for it, right? And the problems that I just previously discussed are problematic, but for me, they're not enough to say no to this. When this thing sits on your shelf, it has a presence. It's almost it's like being part of the Mile High Club or something. It's like you're part of the Utopia Club. Like, it's for real. You know, this thing is not a joke. This is a, a really strong collector piece. And they're doing the rest of them. I talked to the guy from Make Toys. He said he, they were doing Metroplex, Scorponok, Fort Max, Trypticon, in that order. So when you have all these bad boys together lined up, it's, it's going to make a statement. You're going to feel pretty happy about that finished conclusion. I'm pretty sure. It's strong. It's aesthetically interesting it's huge it's detailed it's more poseable than generations it's a good piece it's also four hundred dollars if you've got the money get it if you can make some saves here and there wheel and deal and put some money together get it if you don't have the money and you've really got to struggle like you got to start eating hot dogs with no bun in order to get this thing you might be slightly disappointed but if it's within your means I highly recommend them. You won't be disappointed. The problems that he does have are not going to be problematic enough for you to regret your purchase. Guarantee it. This guy's not in scale with my collection, but I'm forcing his scale to work with my collection because he looks so damn good. Sorry for all the transforming clips and cuts. I just didn't know how else to do it. Just trying something new to try to help better explain it. I gave it my best shot. Not sure how it's going to work out, but I did the best I could. Sorry if it's not as... Uh, educational or effective as a tutorial as you would like but that's that's what I had to do had to make a decision sometimes making the wrong decision is better than making no decision at all thanks for listening thanks for watching till next time take care soft ratchet up and down they also are on a hard ratchet at the swivel you do have a bicep swivel very tight and ratcheted hard ratcheted double jointed knee I mean elbow the bottom one is on a soft ratchet this top one is on a hard ratchet the articulation here is is hindered because of the shape of this in here so in order to kind of get around it you just need to straighten it out and then bring it a, around in order to get it all the way up. It will go, but it's just not the, the smoothest bit of business. <clears throat> Down here, wrist swivel, hinge, ball joint, ball joint at each base knuckle, and then two hinges on each finger. Waist, ratcheted swivel. These tracks can get in the way. 
you can slide them down a bit and that should clear the area. Hips. It's, it, be, it feels like a hard ratchet, but it's definitely a soft ratchet. But it's, they're good notches. Very hard ratchet there. And knee. Soft ratchet. Good and sturdy though. I guess I should talk about these bits here. I hope you can see them. You can have them down. Like there's a way to bring them around. There's a way to swivel them down and around like this to just have one up. I personally like to have both up. I'm kind of a sucker for symmetry. So I like them both up. And then you can slide these guns up here if you'd like as well. Now the feet. The feet are an improvement from Generations Metroplex, but they're not the ultimate answer. So, there is a hinge, and you get a little bit, but not a lot. It's hard, for, it's hard to show up, but that's perfectly flat, and you get about 15 degrees out, and then you get the full ratchet forward. So that's a big improvement just not so much on the rocker. Now if you get that out, you can ratchet to the side like that and get your full rocker, but in a resting stance, you're pretty limited. Maybe about five degrees, 10 degrees maybe. But it's not hateful, right? Like What's up everybody, it's your favorite city's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Make Toys Utopia. And he is a big boy, and I'm going to do the best I can to try to showcase all of it. I'm going to have to make some adjustments, but we will adapt and overcome, and perhaps even improvise. I got to tell you, right out of the box, the first thing I was overcome with was the color breakup. That is the first thing I was overcome with, with Generations of Metroplex, was the lack thereof. So with this one, it was nice that it was all broken up in, you know, between colors and reds and blacks and grays and lighter grays and even some yellows and blues and it was really quite nice. And then when I got him out of the packaging, I had to remark on his heft. He's a hefty boy and he feels solid and those are great things. So I'm going to do the best I can to try to show him off to you. First, let's talk about accessories. So they come with these guns. Um, not a lick of paint on them, which is not really awesome. Um, not really awesome at all. Translucent plastic here. This pops open. Um, it does come with this little avatar. I wonder if he fits in there. Probably just broke him. No, it's too tight though. I wouldn't advise doing it. That was probably really dumb. So, it does have that and then... It comes with these two bits, which are like magazines, like Energon magazines for this gun, and they slide in here. And I will say, like this here, I'm being critical of this thing, but it's because it's $400, okay? This thing here, a little wiggle waggle, not the tightest hinge in the world. Um, actually, you can, you know, that's the shake of it. So this goes in there, if I can figure out uh, this, I guess. Yeah. And then that closes. It doesn't affect the sound because the sound is in this hinge, which isn't the tightest tolerance up there. Um, this ratchets back for a number of reasons. But now, get him sitting. Get them to here. Give yourself a little bit of room. Bend the feet down. And these pop into place here. These white bits, they swing around from the bottom. They pop into place. Same on the other side. Feet down. Pop 
pop into place. Okay, this next step is some stuff that Make Toys does that, that I'm not really a huge fan of. But this gray piece in here, I don't know if you can see it, is sitting on, in within two sliding rail pieces down in there. And you need to sp spread them out. Fold these down and then they'll lock back in right there. But you do need to kind of spread the, <clears throat> the white pieces to get it done. Same on this side. Slide them down. Get them past. I just don't like it. I don't like that aspect of it. I'm sorry. But there you go. Make sure that after you do so, you secure the track with the white tabs on both sides. And then... Combine them together. This is where things can get a bit hairy. So these torso pieces slide back. And this head piece ratchets up. It's the matter of See, this one goes no problem. This one is giving me a ton of grief. This does this for no reason. Set them aside. It comes with these bits of translucent pieces here. I'm trying to figure out what this is about. We're going to continue looking for a spot as we go through this, but I'm just not totally sure. Um, empty magazine, or cartridges, I guess, for the magazine, and they all pop out of the magazine that I just showed you, and you can replace them with this. They also peg into numerous things on these sprues that you can then use for Metroplex when he's in city mode, and we'll take a look at them um, later on. But they, of course, they peg in. Yeah. And we'll, we'll take a look at these in uh, more detail when we get them transformed. And then he does come with this avatar, which is a pretty nice cast, translucent plastic, so be careful with some small little fiddly bits, but pretty nice design overall. All right, so we're going to... Oh, he comes with this radar dish too, which will sit on his shoulder. We'll talk about that when we get back to the figure. Also, in case you were curious, the before and after gun will not fit in the peg hole and it's too wide, really, to get him to hold it. So, you're kinda SOL there. Also, these fellas all utilize five millimeter ports, so they are generally useless on him as well. I haven't come across any options for them, but maybe there are. This thing's supposed to be full of Easter eggs, but I personally have not come across any options. The one option you do have with these guns um, that isn't absurd is you can Have them on there, and of course they can go forwards, and if you would want them to go backwards, they could. And then I believe they also can tab on there if you want them on the back. So, articulation-wise, head is on a, it's, I guess it's on a ball joint. Oh, yeah, it's definitely on a ball joint, but you don't get much up or down. You see I just flip the visor up. Um, the visor does come down. You push it down like that. You bring it up. Um, you don't get much because of the sculpt of the head. The head itself has very limited paint. There's paint on the eyes. There's nothing on these bits or on the black. But there is this translucent red that sits in there. And these guns here hinge up. Shoulders are on. That doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's still what it is, but it's not, you know, it's, it doesn't look as bad as just say, a, you know, but you can, you can make things work, unlike the Generations Metroplex, where the feet really kill you. Uh, his antenna do swivel down, you know, if you wanted to get a more dynamic or back, you know, depending on what look you were looking for. 
and then the radar dish plugs in there. There are some things that, that kind of irritate me, one of which being these guns on the shoulders, which you can't really see because I got, you know, these, look, I got the setup I got, so deal with it. They don't come off. So I would like to remove them. You know, it's $400, so I don't want to break it, but so that's a little, you know, that's a little disappointing given what this thing is. Secondly, the feet still aren't perfect. Um, and there are these little bits of kibble here on the, you know, and I only notice it right there. I only notice it because this thing really cleans up nicely with the exception of that, you know, so it, it does kind of stick out. It's not a deal breaker. It's not hateful, but it's just, just one of those things I'd like to point out. But otherwise, yeah, he's, he's pretty impressive. We're going to transform him, but we're going to transform him in steps, close up in steps, so that you can see what's going on because it's just too big. I hope that you don't hate the way we're going to do this. Um, and yes, it's kind of a cheat, but sorry, I'm, I'm doing what I can. Start with the hands. You got to curl them up as tight as you can and as compactly as you can. Flip down these panels. Slide out the forearm. Use that same black panel. And slide up. So same on the other side. 